first of all, I'd like to tell you what um, what I what this is going to be. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to present uh, an overview of uh, how to go about building a projector yourself, and I'm going to show you three sort of versions, um, starting from an extremely basic, almost not even a projector that would cost you like almost free to um, a ground up uh, build of a um, high definition projector that you could uh, use that's on par with one of the new standards. Um, and um, my, my hope is that you can take this basic information and um, customize your own, uh, your own projector or, or uh, yeah. go crazy with, with whatever uh, uses you need to project it for. Um, and <laughs> so I have some slides that I'd like to show, uh, as well as actual projectors that we'll take a look at. Um, so why would you want to build a own projector? Uh, well, one of the big reasons is cost. Um, commercial projectors, uh, the bulbs alone cost around $300. Um, a unit like this, which we'll actually look at later, uh, bulb costs $30. The other thing is uh, over-the-counter projector, you get about 3,000, actually it's one to 3,000 hours of projection time. Um, 3,000 is actually on the higher end. Um, a do-it-yourself projector you can have 20,000 hours. That's like leaving it on for a few years, you know? Um, so you can actually use one of these projectors as, your, as a TV. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, an installation only thing. The other main reason is custom design. Um, you can take the basic idea of basic um, information I'm going to present you and make your own sort of style, your own uh, uh, form if you want. This is a uh, uh, a PVC type projector um, with the plan to make a, a refractive lens. Um, this is a, a, a projector with a, a bellows, or, you know, like a, a view camera, so you can focus and change the angle. Here's a, this is what's called a Haas design. Um, you can see it's, it's sort of rounded, and that's be, you can do that because of the the, the way the light goes through the projector, which I will show you um, Essentials, of course, is light. You have to actually throw light. Um, so you have to have a, a nice, bright source of light, a lens to focus that light so that it's not just a flashlight, uh, and an image, something to throw, something that, that you want to have projected. Uh, so the first on that list is the light. Now, there's lots of sources of light. Um, LEDs, <coughs> you've got your regular light bulbs, incandescent. Um, we're going to make sure not to unplug the projector. Um, and LEDs are really cool. It's something that's, that's developing incredibly quickly. But right now, they just aren't quite bright enough, aren't quite bright in the right way, or their light isn't uh, um, uh, color true. Uh, generally, you want your light to be about 6,500 Kelvin color temperature to get a true white. Uh, LEDs, their process in which they make them, the light doesn't come out all that great. All that, um, white. Halogen. Uh, I've seen some halogen bulbs used. The good thing about halogen is that they are really bright, um, but the, the color temp is still not quite 6,500 
And the other thing is that um, they have a high wattage for light produced. Now, what that means in real terms is that they produce a lot of heat. Um, and heat for any sort of electronics, especially in an enclosed case, is bad. Um, and it's also inefficient. You're just basically burning electricity. Metal halide are sort of the standard um, standard fault for, for DIY projectors. And that's because they produce a lot of light um, for the amount of electricity they use. Um, and they can be incredibly um, accurate color representation. You can get them in a broad range of color temperatures. 6500 is, um, like I said, the, the chosen. They're actually used for um, aquariums uh, because they can have such accurate uh, white light. Um, so the downside is that you can't use it quite like a normal bulb. Um, you actually have to have this thing called a ballast, which helps start the light and also keeps the lights from exploding, basically, from overheat. Um, but they're pretty easy to use. And we'll take a look at what I'm talking about. Lens. So we generally use two lenses, two kinds of lenses. A Brunel lens, um, which is one of those thick plastic magnifying um, sheets. I thought I had one there, but I guess my office is one cardboard. There's one in there, yeah. Um, that's what's in this, uh, this projector here. Um, but there's also one in here, and there's also one in that one over there, which I'll show. Um, and uh, triplet, it's called a triplet lens. It's called a triplet lens because there's actually three elements of glass in there that are, um, which is uh, that projector right there, that lens you can see, that's a triplet lens, this is a triplet lens. And triplet lens allows you to focus your image um, in the most uh, image accurate way, using three elements instead of trying to go with one. Um, and now lens, what the Fresnel lens actually is doing is it's trying to approximate a lens like this, but with a flat aspect. So it's actually like a bunch of ridges. If you actually like take your finger and rub it across this one side of the Fresnel lens, you can actually like feel all those ridges. And why it's great for us is that if you have your lens with the flat side towards a, a light, the lens acts to columnate the light in order, in other words, it like straightens it out and makes it go straight. If you instead shoot your light this way, it actually seeks to condense the lens. So you actually, with just one lens, you can change light in two different ways, depending on which way you, you uh, orient. So, this is sort of an illustration of of uh, what I was just talking about. You have light going through the Fresnel lens. It's a sort of spreads out. So, what we really need is we really need two lenses. One to go in front of our LCD screen, and one to go behind it so that the light actually goes straight through the screen and then goes, um, projects its focal point to our glass lens to focus it. And that's pretty much a projector, that right there. Um, and it's sort of the simplest building block. 